can see this painting is done but not completely finished yet I'm still gonna wait until it completely dries because uh, if you can see the mountain the, the sienna color it's kind of still a little bit thicker so not to be a little thick for some reason I accidentally did that so I'm gonna have to wait until it completely dries then I can you know change it a little bit get more dimensions and see it's pretty much done just have to do like uh, the waves create like um, effect of bubbles and stuff and the sky pretty much done maybe maybe clouds or I'm not really sure yet the canvas that I'm gonna start working on it's already primed with the uh, gambling ground pretty much done that, just have to do uh, some other things, I have to put a oil in there and design it whatever I want to do. This painting needs to be dry for now, still wet, when it's done then I'm going to start doing more detail work, more modeling work, create probably like a forest or jungle on top of that hill. And see, I'm gonna turn it to uh, actual, to make it so it's actual sea. So I'm gonna do some work on it. This is a lot of work. But first, I have to uh, send it out a little bit, send it, so it can be a little bit thinner, you know, to create, or fix it up, get rid of all the impurities. And I'm gonna use this one, liquid detail. use green for oil a little bit and liquid detail mix it together and this is what I'm doing right now I'm gonna brush it over make a clear coat first and a little bit ga uh, gamsol I'm so maybe more. Set up different things and just apply it first. First coat. As you can see, just gonna put all around it. I filled it up whole canvas as much as I could. Mixing with the the medium that I uh, just mix it up, so the brush will go easily. Top, blue color and I did yellow the effect I put a little circle around oval and I did like uh, all around like you as you can see this just the beginning it's gonna change a little bit later and after that I did this as you can see I changed it I picked up some of them out to create texture and 
after I finish, I am going to clean up my brushes that I use. I made up my own brush cleaner, so I clean up a pick. This way, you can easily pick up all the oils in your brush before you dip it into uh, the, the liquid, the fluid that you use to clean. It doesn't matter what you use. It could be turpentine or, or some other stuff. But mainly, it's, they have you can even use a Gamsol, I think Gamsol also uses it too. But if you're shipping from somewhere else, it's kind of, they don't, they don't ship to California for some reason. You have to buy it from Blix.com. Uh, information is on the website, you can check it out. This is how I do, I just, you know, work on it and pick, pick up whatever I can. And after that, I use the brush cleaner.
still a little wet. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just going over a little bit, creating outlines, like outlines. So I know when it's right dry completely, I'm gonna put what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what I, if I'm gonna draw C scape or something else. I'm not sure yet. But I'm trying to fix it a little bit here while still wet. Create like a like highlight and stuff. So it will be perfect. Just like I said, my style is mostly abstract. I like this kind of stuff. You know, like a abstract highlight actually. That's what I'm trying to do with the just like doing things with the Photoshop, I'm doing with the oil painting. That's my purpose, to come up with new type of techniques that you can use and do your oil painting. Because not everybody can do exactly like Picasso or something else or different natural painters. That you, when you look at the painting, you think it's actually real. And nobody, some people cannot do that, you know. You need to have a specific skills to do this, things like that. And some of us don't, so. Plus this is exercise, your observation and the coloring and the brush works too. produce that effect it's because you never you know recorded it it's hard to reproduce it so you every time you do it you have to record it or write write it down somewhere because it's very interesting because sometimes you do things accidentally to come up to be good and you want to do it again you completely forget what you did so that thing you have to know that sometimes human mind can forget things you can do accidentally and then you want to reproduce it and then you don't remember that sucks huh see it's so good now all I have to do is just wait afterwards and see what I can do later it just takes time don't don't rush put the paint on it because then thick paint it's gonna crack because now in the first layer it doesn't dry you put more paint on it it's gonna take forever to dry, so you have to go slowly. Thin layer first, dries, then more layer, layer, and then put until it dries again, like that. This looks like I can make some right here. See those lines right here? So this probably abstract would be better paint abstract than uh, actual actual thing you know sometimes you have those little things you just pick it up with that cloak so it's still wet I I picked up with this not this go like this see to create texture so it's perfect time to do it still wet so it takes time to, 
to dry. Just do like this to get rid of extra, extra paint on the, not that much, not already spread around. Okay, so I had to go ahead and pick up all the fluid, what you call medium, because those things, I don't know, maybe I did some wrong combination and, and it wasn't drying, so I just picked it up with those things on top. And no, uh, it looks okay, so I'm gonna wait a little bit more until whatever wetness is still there dries and I can start creating take the abstract so this is gonna be like this I'm not gonna put a um, liquid white because you know it's already have what I need you know the the guide the guide guidelines right there the outlines and what I'm supposed to paint if you look at it the painting this is accidentally happened there is a, let me see if I can put it next to it Hard to see it maybe. So this cell phone camera is not good. Um, like you can see there's people standing there too you know, right there. And this thing is a little bent down a little bit. It looks something, I don't know, maybe I can create. That's how I do, that's my technique. Whatever comes up, I just trace it and then create. You know, I don't do it from outside, I just do it when it comes up. Whatever it comes up. I fix it up, make it like look a human or something else, whatever it looks like, you know? Uh, right there you can see like a spaceship or something, and it's weird. This this painting is gonna be really good. And then the circle in the middle, I should have not done it, but it's kind of like a guideline or something. You know, maybe I can put like a, put it like a ball or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. And usually when I use this thing, usually I use I throw away, but this time I kept it because uh, after it dries, I can still use it. So you have to do that. You don't have to spend too much money buying those paper towel stuff. Actually, this is a whitener, the one that wet the white things. So this is what I did. So after it dries, I can use them. Plus, it's like a it's cool stuff. Look, looks like a abstract itself. So that's what I use. And then we come to this way, and this is the painting. I still waiting for complete dry because you're not supposed to touch after. Once you paint it, and the one month after one month pass, you're not supposed to touch. You have to wait six months at least until it completely dries. Then I can do some modifications. That's it.